We have some really big updates to talk about for Terra Luna, the cryptocurrency, and I want to update you guys in this video. So everything you guys need to know about Terra Luna right now, we're going to cover it in this video. So if that sounds good to you guys, hit the thumbs up button. If you guys want to stay up to date with Terra Luna, what is happening with the price of this crypto? Where is the future of this crypto going? Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, but I hope you guys are enjoying the journey so far. And I want to let you know, we've had a big surprise twist in the story of Terra Luna. So so have a look at this early polling from Terra vote indicates 91% are in favor of rebirth so this is really interesting so in the last couple of videos the last type last couple of samples we've done having a look at the response to the Terra Luna fork proposal you know originally the initial reaction from social media was people were not in favor of this fork from what I could see however have a look at this we've had a huge change with 91% are in favor of rebirth it is saying right here in this article despite the overwhelming approval of the proposal as of Wednesday many Terra users on social media suggested the network burn its Luna tokens and it says here in a proposal open to Terra community on Wednesday more than 91% of votes at the time of publication were in favor of rebirthing the Terra network roughly 85 million out of 93, 93 million with up to 284 million votes yet to be cast the proposal needs roughly 188 million votes in favor to pass before the window closes on May the 25th. At the time of publication, the biggest validator to come out in support of the proposal is Terra infrastructure provider Orbital Command holding 1.39% of the voting power. Major validators with more than 2% of the voting power have not yet made a decision, including cross-chain stablecoin bank Orion Money with 8.63% of the voting power. And uh, we do know this proposal, it's not going to have UST with it. And there will be a new blockchain coming out for this. And uh, so what's going to happen, guys, it does look initially right now, it potentially will go to a fork it will potentially go to an airdrop and this is surprising because i'll be honest with you guys a lot of the polls i did put out people are against this but it does look if we go to the official vote that has just been opened on terror station so this is the official one this is not an un this is not an unofficial vote you guys can see right here so here's the agora post links to the proposal plan that we'll take a look at soon and have a look at the votes that are flowing in for this so 125 million votes at the time of recording this video 87.48 percent are now in favor so that is 110 million votes so according to this article they need to get to 188 million votes and if we look at the live numbers right got right here you can see it's at 110 million it does look likely like it will go through so i'm predicting you know if the votes maintain their current structure the fork will go through the airdrop will go through who is yet to vote you guys can see him right here orion money 8.62 and uh, who wants to contact them to get them to vote? Stake Systems, 4.86%. Smart Stake, 3.89% and uh, a couple of other ones as well and uh, so this is what it's looking like guys so this means the fork potentially is going ahead so we have some breaking live updates here for you guys and uh, this is really interesting so so what I am kind of seeing from this is a lot of the ecosystem developers behind Terra chain Terra Luna they want to go over to the new chain so they're thinking the best step forward is for this crypto to start a new chain to start fresh on the new chain what does it mean for you so if you hold terra luna right now let's do a refresher what does this mean for you so if this proposal does go through what you need to be paying attention to so we've we've been through this article in depth before but let's just go to the key points for you guys and it's down the bottom here okay so what's important is if you held luna pre-attack 35 percent of the new chain tokens are going to those people right there so when is the pre-attack date and if we have a look down here pre-attack snapshot to be taken at terra classic block 7544910 which is on the 7th of may okay 7th of may right there if you held bonded or unbonded luna you're going to you're going to be entitled to some of the new airdrop right there on top of that you also have they've changed it actually so this has changed from the last update we've done so this is a living document changes are coming through rapidly pre-attack a ust holders 10 percent so if you had ust 
right there and it has a 500k whale cap on it and uh and covers up to 99.7 percent of all holders um there's going to be some staking with that but you are also entitled to some of this free crypto this airdrop that is happening pre-attack date so again if you held a ust and you fulfill the requirements right here and that date is the 7th of may 2022 potentially you're going to get an allocation uh, of split between 10 percent right there post attack lunar holders 10 percent you are also going to get you're also going to get some airdrop of this cryptocurrency so post attack let's read it down the bottom this is going to be taken on the 27th of may right there and also post attack ust holders 20 percent right there on the 27th of may so what does this mean so that means if you hold luna or ust right now you hold it up to the 27th of may and uh you know it's in it's in a compatible wallet or it's uh in a supported exchange so do Kwan has been saying on twitter we have covered in previous videos that people who are on big large exchanges they're going to work with those exchanges to help support the airdrop that is my understanding and you guys can see some here people are asking about exchanges airdrops and doquan is saying there will be exchange support so we'll see exactly what crypto exchanges cover it but i would guess again not financial advice but it would be the big ones like qcoin like those other big ones as well binance would uh, work with doquan in this situation but we'll find out in this but that information of course can change in the future and guys this is a really big update so this has changed a lot of things so i thought originally this proposal wasn't going through but what i can see kind of reading through all this information right now guys what's happened is uh, all the ecosystem developers behind terra station they are really getting involved in this and they want to go to a new chain and that seems to be happening so terra Luna Luna version 2 is going to happen so what does this mean for the price of Terra Luna right now so what will happen in my opinion is uh, what we're looking at right now is Luna USD so this is going to be this is going to turn into v1 of Luna so this is going to be the old uh, classic version of Luna and on the 27th of May if all this goes through you're going to get v2 of Luna okay so if you hold Luna this cryptocurrency right here you're going to get entitled to the new version of Luna and uh, that potentially will have some value that value will be determined on exactly what we've been speaking about before so what needs to happen is uh, you know the ecosystem needs to get built out for Terra Luna version 2 you guys can see it right there developers need to move across people in the community need to move across they need to get on that chain and and then projects need to start on that chain and then what you're going to find is the TVL of that chain if all is good and all the development is going well what's going to happen is the TVL of that chain will go up so you guys can see the chains behind me you got Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, Tron, Solana and uh, if if Terra Luna can work its way back up that's where the price increases for Luna will go in my opinion and uh, but it is a big game of if and again with crypto it is high reward high risk so potentially bearish scenario the price could also go down as well if, if this doesn't pull off so I'm here to give you guys that fair and balanced point of view so it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes I'm hoping version 2 of Luna does go well if it does go to a version 2 and uh, we'll just see what happens so we're going to stay up to date with what happens with this crypto but guys that is a massive update hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one crypto Zeus signing out